Hello, my name is Patrick Hartnett. I'm the developer of Post Edit Compare and the associated plugin, which is Post Edit Versions. It's installed with the application. It's available from the SCL Studio application. You can see it here on the navigation area on the left hand side after you install Post Edit Compare. It uh, offers the possibility to back up completely your project or just the project files, the SLX zip files, um, and the different states that you're working in. So, for instance, you could back it up before, create a version of the project and all of the SLX zip files before translation, after translation, after revision, after revision 2. So, it basically ma maintains or manages the project lifecycle of the state, different states of the project. So it's very a kind of a fundamental uh, piece of functionality that could be very, very useful for the project managers. So let's just give you a quick demonstration of that. So let's go into your project and simply after it's installed, you can either select a project from the projects uh, list view. And from the context menu, you can see create a new project version or it's also available here on the menu item, new project version. So very quickly, uh, let's kind of simulate if this is like after revision cycle what, uh, two or something like that, the default location uh, where the files are going to be managed or in this, but you can change it. You can create a shallow copy is basically a shallow copy means only the project file and the SL and all of the SLX zip files, or you can create uh, a complete copy by deselecting this checkbox. This will copy all of the resources and all the files in that project for you. So it's a very good way to back up the different states of your project. Um, so very quickly, you can click continue and it does in a few seconds, it backs up all of those files for you. So we click close and then we can go back in here and we can see now that it has created a version for me. If I want to look and see where those files actually are physically on my hard disk, but then just right click on the uh, item from the list view and say view project version in the Windows Explorer. It'll bring you to that location. In fact, you can see all of the different uh, files, the different states of the projects that are backed up. Now, what else can we do with that? So it's completely and fully automated with post data compare as well. So let's just have a look at another project that I was looking at. And let's compare two different states of that project. So I don't know what states they are, probably before translation, off translation again, or probably a revision cycle. But just for the purpose of this demo, just I want to select both of them and kind of bring up the post data compare application so that you can kind of readily see what it's doing. So select any two, and you can see here also here there's kind of a hint of what you're supposed to do with it. You can right click, and then av available will be a menu item compare with post data compare or um, you can select it from the menu item here. It will then compare both those or bring it avail make it available in the application post that compare so that you can create and generate a report from that. But you can also, it's kind of useful information here in this uh, window to understand exactly what changed. So you know that there is one file that changed in the German and one or two, one file that changed in the Italian. So you can already get some good solid information very back very, very quickly from the post that compare application and in a few seconds basically from maintaining and managing the versions from the uh, plugin with, within SDL Studio. If you want to generate a report from that, well then you just select one or all of those. You can, I'm just going to do it very quickly. And voila! You have a nice report of the changes from the different states of that same project. So I hope that was useful. Bye bye!